Okay. Yeah, the hotel boss. Hotel boss. Yeah. Hotel. All of them. <laughs> Woke up this morning looking to start the day off on a positive note with a sunrise chant. It's a Hawaiian tradition here. Uh, ushering in some positive energy, allowing the gods to help you make uh, the right decisions, good decisions. Never done it before, but uh, new things. And that's what's unique about Hawaii. It is the highest mountain in the world, actually. So, and we're, we're talking from the bottom of the uh, ocean, right? Just from sea level to the peak, it's a, a little over 13,000 feet. But if we go down to the, to the uh, bottom of the ocean, um, over 30,000 feet. So even high, and higher than Everest, yeah. So that's Mauna Kea. Mauna Loa is actually the largest mountain mass-wise in the world as well too. So we got two of the largest mountains in the world, you know. Mauna Kea. Wow, look at that view. Hello. Tell you other than the beach, this is the most photographed part of the, yeah, the property. Yeah, right? yeah. You got the, the Bodai uh, tree above the Buddha, it's kind of quintessential. So this is the oldest piece in the entire collection. The collection's probably worth north of two million dollars now. In all original pieces from their original country of origin. He sent, you know, a dozen people out to span Polynesia and Southeast Asia uh, to bring everything back. So really, really unique to have them all here in Hawaii. You know, the East meets West concept was really what he was trying to uh, to bring to this property. And obviously the Eastern art collection and the Western yeah. uh, architecture uh, are a really nice dichotomy that ended up going together really, really well. Well, we're rated number uh, three in the world for location. For site and location. So, yeah, forever. As I told the chairman of Marriott, too fucking long. <laughs> he, loved, he loved it too. <laughs> no, but, uh, on this island, 41 years. Right, I'm like so a petroglyph. Pretty close. You won't go away. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you guys Big tennis players or were you? Were you? Uh, yeah, we dabble. Point for the hotel bar. We live, Mona Kea Resort. This is how I like to go from place to place. Yeah, the hotel bar. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> Shh, 
don't tell anybody, we took these off the golf course, but we ended up at the Westin Hapuna Beach, uh, right next door to the Mauna Kea. One of the benefits are you have a whole other resort to go to. For me, it's not about the resort, it's all about the entrance. I mean, look at the views. Woo! Faisal, welcome to the Westin Hapuna Beach Resort. Big Island, Woo! Hawaii. <laughs> We're thrilled to have you. This is kind of the second phase of Mr. Rockefeller's vision that we talked about at Mauna Kea. And now, of course, with an additional huge one mile long white sand beach and an additional adults only pool, we have the large family pool, is everything you can want in paradise. So guests of Hapuna or guests of Mauna Kea can go back and forth between the two and reap all the benefits of both, so. I would definitely recommend doing so on a golf board. More on that later. <laughs> yes, exactly. So the other thing when talking about Mr. Rockefeller's vision, it wasn't just one bay, it's two. You have to think bigger. You have to think bigger. Your dreams should scare you, and that's honestly the only way to have a dream. Otherwise, it's just something you know you could hit, and you're being fucking lazy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 25 to 30,000 balls end up in the drink every year. 25,000 in one. <laughs> Aloha, welcome, Presidential Suite, the Fairmont Orchid, nestled within Paua Bay. You come out here, I mean the views from this suite are completely unreal and something that you know I really I really think most people take for granted. Oh, you're here. We're here at the spa. One of the most unique features of this, it's all outdoors. You have individual huts that you can rent. There's even oceanfront ones as well uh, for all sorts of treatment, massages. This is a very tranquil setting. You can't come to Hawaii and not lay out by the pool. The Fairmont Orchid, 10,000 square feet. You heard that, 10,000 square feet. There's a lot of poolside real estate. The other thing is the pool kind of breaks off into different pockets. So it feels as though it's multiple pools when in reality, it's one. Not feeling like you want to hang out by a pool, want to head to the beach? Paua Bay, some of the best snorkeling on the island. Obviously you can get out here on a paddleboard, head out into the ocean, but again, this area, all about the snorkeling. Well, I guess you can get a lawn chair and hang out and get some sun as well. Well, Fairmont Orchid, you definitely didn't disappoint. Beautiful property, you have to come check it out. But we only have a limited time here, so we gotta keep exploring. So how long have you been fishing? My whole life. <laughs> take it back to the hotel and have them cook it for us. The night has fallen, and guess what? It's time to go swimming with manta rays. Should be an interesting time. Wow, to be honest with you, I was completely blown away. I was seeing the manta rays, they are massive, a lot bigger than you think they are. Uh, our guide was great. What an experience. Definitely recommend that you check it out. Faisal. Rio. Rio, Bye. nice to meet you. Yeah, you as well. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Yeah. 
So I caught I caught a couple things. It's fresh, on okay. ice, ready to go. So excellent. I'll we'll leave it, it to you. Of course, my pleasure. Poke. Are you guys familiar with poke? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, very much it's so. It's kind of our Hawaii specialty, right? Looks a lot better than when I caught it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Leave it to me, I'll dress it up. All right, sounds All right. good. Thank, Thank you. you so Enjoy. much. We yeah, got more coming. It. Awesome. Yeah. I don't even know what kind of chip that is, but with the fresh tuna that I caught and whatever the chef did with it, amazing. So far being on the Big Island, my biggest takeaway is, you know, the Hawaiian culture touches so many different facets of life. And it's interesting to see how they embrace all the resources that are around them in order to put them into, you know, the food, their culture, and be one with the land that, that is Hawaii.